Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's look, as you can see, I did a very fall-esque eyeshadow look. Honestly, I love the way it turned out. I loved all the products that I used. Some of them are new products for me. Some of them I have used before. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So starting with the eyeshadow, I've already prepped my eyes by putting concealer on for the base. And today I'm going to be working from the KKW Beauty Palette So Fire. I saw it and I had to have it. It's the perfect colors for fall. Like, look at these two shimmers and that beautiful um, burnt orange. Oh, I love it. Going in with the first shade, I'm taking that brown right there. That's going to be our transition shade. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease. Now, taking that burnt orange shade that I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to put that all over the lid. Starting from the outer corner and slowly going into the inner corner. So because I knew that I was going to be working with shimmer shades, that's why I started with my eyes. So that way if there was any fallout from the shadow, it wouldn't affect the foundation and everything. Because I hate it when you work so hard on your foundation and then it gets ruined by eyeshadow. So we're not going to have that problem today. First taking that orange one on a flat brush and then just taking that onto my lid and kind of carving out a shape if you, you could say moving on to that yellow gold color which is very very pretty look look at that so i'm just going to take that on my finger and i'm going to place that right in the middle i kind of did a look similar to this in a way on my Instagram but instead of the whole eye being orange and yellow in the middle I did like half and half but I like the way this looks better in a way this one is more wearable than the other one for foundation I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation and this is actually my first time using this foundation so it is a first impression for me but I have heard good things about it I like the way it looks so far um, I like how I can already tell it's not it's not a heavy foundation so I was having a full-on conversation and the camera just stopped recording I mean I guess that's what happens when your camera only films 12 minutes at a time but anyway I if I didn't say it before I said that this is the soft matte formula of the foundation that there's a hydrating one that I want to give a try even though I, I prefer to be matte than hydrated not hydrated I prefer to be matte than the dewy look but I wouldn't mind trying it out one of these days so if you guys want to see that then just let me know you can tell it's very mattifying so if you don't like that I would go with the hydrating formula but if you like to be matte then go for it I like the coverage. Moving on to concealer, I'm just taking two shades from Tarte Shape Tape. So for setting the face, I'm taking the Too Faced Setting Powder. So now that I've set the face, I'm going to take a little bit of... That's not a little bit. I'm going to take some of that powder and just put it right there on my eye. Creating. Some people do it so it creates like that cat eye effect. I don't know how well you can see, but do you see how that kind of made it into a straight line and kind of erase the product that was there before so that's the cat eye effect my camera stopped recording again so i don't know what you guys saw but i took the brown shade that we used in the beginning as our transition shade i'm just taking that onto my lower lash line and blending it I really have to get better at watching this camera timer. It's just I get kind of I get into the look and I forget to watch the time. The next thing you know, I'm having a full blown conversation and none of it gets recorded. So, taking the orange shade, just a little bit. I take a lot, so tap some of it off. I'm just gonna take that right underneath. And slowly blend that one too. So taking my Clinique mascara, 
I am obsessed with this mascara. I tried to use my L'Oreal one and I think it ruined my lashes the last time I used it. So I'm just sticking with this one from now on. <sighs> I look ridiculous. So while I wait for my lash glue to get tacky, I'm going to be taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and apply my bronzer. Which I found it to be easier if I use a more smaller brush and then blend it out with a bigger brush once, once I'm done. Just because I think if I start with the bigger brush it gets all around my face and then I don't like the way it looks. So at least if I apply it first with a smaller brush and then slowly blend it with the bigger brush later I'm more satisfied with the way it comes out okay so now that my lashes are on I'm going to be moving on to highlight and for my highlighter today I'm gonna to be using a morphe high impact highlighter in the shade extra this was my go-to highlighter when I first bought it for me it's such a Na mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty natural highlight, but buildable. And I don't know, I, to me, this one just goes with everything. And I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm actually pretty excited to use it for today's look. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. And I'm also going to take that onto my brow bone. Okay, so I applied my lip liner off camera. I used the Morphe lip liner in the shade Honeymoon. For lips, I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fighter. Okay. And we're done. I love this look. I honestly... Oh wait, no, I'm not done. I haven't said it yet. So for setting the face, I'm taking Urban Decay All Nighter. For all my videos, you see that I use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but I just got this. I like it, but I'm not used to the spritz. I'm used to the mist, but it does feel refreshing. The look is completed, and I really like how it turned out. Very fall-esque, which is what I was going for, so I give it five stars. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave all the products that I used listed in the description below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will also leave that in the description below. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comment. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe and I will see you next week with another video. Bye guys!